Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honotak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 with the newest DLC, Rule Britannia. Welcome back to our Netherlands campaign. We are in a, in a war with Portugal because uh, Spain is now in a personal union under under Great Britain, which means these uh, Great Britain and France are fighting for who can become the overlord of Spain, which is like insane insanity, really, because Spain was already huge. Um, but yeah, while these guys are exhausting each other's resources, Portugal lost its only ally. They still don't have any. Um, so I thought this might be the best point in time that we get for actually taking out Portugal. I think. It's very likely, I think. Lost the Siege of Calabar. Not too happy that they are going about it that way. Hell no. They're trying to... Whoa! They have 100k in here. I I desperately need my my troops to arrive here. And they are here. Alright, tell you what. We'll bring them on the ships w once more. And we'll actually go for a bit of a cheeky landing maneuver here. They only have 44k, right? Yeah. So we'll just we'll just engage them here. Mm, I can always siege this down later. It's not as much of a problem. Actually, get out. And we'll try to smush those 40k right away. Yes, very good. Why are they running to? Doesn't tell me, right? They're gonna probably run a long way. And now we'll move into the three adjacent provinces. Uh, the place where Portugal has its main army. And then we'll just go on the offensive, I think. I mean, we're gonna have some river crossings in here, but... And we have to go through the middle. We'll try to catch them here. Okay, yeah. Now it's 120 versus 50,000. Getting them basically wiped. And we're losing a lot of we're losing a lot of manpower. By being held up in those um, provinces. Can actually leave one army here to siege it down. But yeah, that does it for the area at least. So the, the Portuguese are on the run now. Very good. We have Liberty Desire, New Holland. Like, these guys are being annoying as hell. Could you not? I mean, you're not contributing any anything to this war, but could you maybe just shut up then at least? Just shut up and be quiet. Mm, I think we'll actually move the Guinea core over to the other coast for now. This could be enough to swing the war into our f in in our favor. So we'll come over here. We lost the siege of Garbo. Whoa! There's another army over there. Holy hell! Where does Portugal get that many troops? They have a hundred thousand infantry. They must have really built up. Almost no cavalry. And we have the Age of Revolutions. Questioning of rights, authority and the world itself during the Enlightenment has led to the rejection of the ancient regime. As absolutism gives way to revolution, kingdoms may have to make place for republics. So we have parliament, have a government with a parliament. The emperor, have a powerful subject, high discipline, large capital, great leader, control institutions, only control at least two origins of ins We should like be able to finish a lot of those. <laughs> yeah. What? What? <laughs> we are the emperor of the HRE? 
How so? How's that a thing? Is it because we are the only emperor with a Germanic um, culture? Is it counting us as the HRE? That's weird. And yeah, we're controlling a bunch of institutions. What can we get for this? With Prussian discipline, British fleet, Russian Empire, and Austrian... Whoa! Austrian diplomacy plus five diplo rep? you got to be kidding me. And a revolutionary zeal. We have the Napoleonic Warfare. Improved force march. Ooh, force march costs no power. That's beautiful. That's really powerful, too. Global naval engagement. Unrestricted conquest. No coring distance. Improved artillery range. No subjects. Okay, that doesn't really help me, but... Yeah, nice. A couple of nice abilities. And since we have a lot of these already, like, checked, we're gonna be doing pretty well. Hmm, actually considering confronting that Portuguese army up here. I'm really not happy with them. But yeah, maybe we'll get that under control and then march just up there. South America needs to be, like, changed right now. Needs to be turned around, otherwise things will go bad. My wow, extension is dangerously high. What are you talking about? Fine. Yeah, we have some growing corruption, but who cares? It's alright. Okay, so... Mm. Are these guys working together? Rio de Prata, Rio de Prata, Rio de Prata. Uh, I could actually just tell New Zealand to be supportive. These guys fought off another Rio de Prata army, which is running away. Looks like we kind of have to just break this area. These guys are, might be very strong because they have a lot of gold, I think. Yeah. Just a big country, I guess. I mean, they have a gold mine here. But everything else is fine. Okay, we're almost done sieging this. The good thing about my um, colonial countries is that I've built a lot of forts in them, so they have to fight pretty hard for that. Oh, there's a, there's a naval battle up there. We'll drop these guys. And I will actually come up here to help the Dutch Caribbean keep the naval superiority up north, if I can. We'll allow attaching. And we'll actually tell New Zealand to be supportive. Okay, buddy. Supportive. Napoleonia, supportive. New Friesland, New Flanders. Dutch Caribbean is still aggressive. That's fine. Okay, so they're coming. We lost a, an Inquisitor. Okay, some mercantilism. That's all good. Uh, New Caribbean and New Flanders are getting uppity again. I think this is the time to actually enable the stability. Siege of Noop is over. Okay, very good. I think this is the same army that we chased out from the other place, so we'll wait until this is finished. Move to Fort Elmina. And then we'll kick him out. Oh, hello. We found the Portuguese trading fleet on the way. Hello. Captured seven ships with 35 lights now. I like it. Uh, we didn't even lose any of our heavies. It's beautiful. Very good. Yeah, Portugal on its own is just not strong enough to fight a global war against me, I think. So we won the Battle of Castro. Yeah. Not sure why these guys are splitting their troops. Trying to engage those 11k. 
Bam. That's done. Now we can't get in there. What do we need to siege down? What do we lose? Oh, we lost uh, Rio Grande do Sul. Yeah, we'll take that one. Oh, there's the... There's another big Portuguese fleet. Where's, where's my fleet? We'll try to engage these guys. Ghost of Pernambuco. They're coming. Are they ferrying troops down? Gotta prevent that. Come on, this fortress needs to fall. Okay, so that happened. Um, come up here. Yeah, we'll move into Beerfada. And we'll have these guys... Um, this costs me military points, but we kind of have to do this, so we'll go force march in there. We'll siege this place down. This is just a level 2 fort, so it shouldn't take that long. Where's that Portuguese fleet now? I saw the Portuguese fleet. Coast of Pernambuco. We have a Portuguese fleet up here. Um, these are just some lights. Guess my intelligence is just not enough. I don't really want to engage the, the big Portuguese fleet, but uh, we might as well come down here, make the fort fall a bit faster. Okay. So now we can't use Katsina anymore to march over. And my guy's got black flagged. That sucks big time. Ethiopia took a bunch of land from the Mamluks. Yeah, Mamluks are one province minor now, I think. I must have another province, because they still exist. Oh yeah, they're in Cyprus. Cyprus is their capital. <laughs> Hilarious. Bad times for the Mamluks, for sure. The other thing is now being counted as a... Oh, Dutch Caribbean is being very aggressive. Nice. Uh, we swage the pain. Okay, so that should make that fortress fall a little bit sooner. Come on, guys. I mean, these states could have invested in some better forts if they wanted to, but apparently they didn't. Mm. Let's get those ships parked in Batavia. Octavia is going to be our war harbor here. Once we have enough fleet strength, I will actually go and invade Portugal proper. Because if they have that many, if they have that many troops down here, they cannot, under any circumstance, have enough troops to. Defend their homelands, I don't think. Oh, there's the Portuguese fleet. At least a another one. There's some 10k additional troops. Okay, we're done here. Hmm, force march up there. And these ships would bring up as well. I think it might actually be better to have these guys go by boat. Move them up to the grain coast and then ferry them over. Yeah, this could get kind of nasty. Because if I get jumped by 60k, my 40k might not do too well. France will not give me military access though. That's for sure. Okay, we're fighting down a smaller fleet. What? No, that's not us. Where's my big fleet? Here. Ah, damn it. I was trying to get these. 
But it doesn't really matter. We'll go to the Grain Coast and then we'll kind of have to stop this thing. They're thinking about fighting the Fulani Separatists. Okay, we're almost done coring Indonesia. Repay that loan. 9th of January. And probably faster if we just move into the Ivory Coast. Fifteenth. Okay, we'll load them onto the ship. Uh, we actually have to unload them over here. Yeah, we have seventy k of theirs. I can bring some substantive numbers. Gotta move into the other fort in the area. Siege that down. That is also only a level 2 fort. We're playing cat and mouse here. I, they siege down the one area. And so on. I wonder how I can counter that. My troops are just standing here, getting attritioned. Um, I'm not going to allow them to attach anymore. I think we'll just move down here and take their capital. That might be best. There's a pretty large, substantial fleet of Rio de Prata. And we could take, if we wanted to. These troops are sieging now. Which means our ships are kind of ready to do things. More retaining curls. These guys are running away. Can we still catch them? 27th, 3rd of April. If we can't destroy that, they're no longer able to transport troops, which might be kind of nice, actually, if you think about it. These occupations, yeah, they're getting turned automatically, which means we can just... Ah, oh, we can't march down. But yeah, destroying that transport fleet over here is going to be great. Katsina has eaten Mali completely. That's good. And yeah, we have a 23k Portuguese army down south. That happens. Okay, we captured four transport ships, so now we have 86. But more importantly, they lost a huge chunk of their fleet. Very good. Mm. Kind of considering just taking 40 and sending that fleet down. I think I will. Okay, so use 40k. Come in here. And we'll take the main fleet over here. How are our neighbors in the east? So they've convened. It's 11. Send these guys over. These are done now. Okay, we should have a pretty big fleet coming from the east. Uh, probably enough to take the Portuguese main fleet out, I hope. Moravi has embraced the Enlightenment. We still haven't, because we're just backwards. Just busy with conquering. Okay, we'll transfer that. Benin. I really need to upgrade these forts. It's just hilarious that this doesn't work. Um, I had a big Portuguese fleet and they're all going south, which is what we'll do as well. Try to catch these Rio de Prata guys. We're sieging down their capital and we managed to convert the heretics. Yeah, we got their capital now. Do they have any other forts? Seems their progress is being mainly made by holding our own forts. Let's have a look. Fort level. Yeah, they got nothing. They got nothing. They're just taking our own forts because they're level twos. So we'll take Melodia, which is a level three fort. It's a, it's a capital. Uh, why is New Valonia not doing anything? What are you guys doing? New Valonia, New Flanders, New Zealand. 
Guess I gotta set these guys to just siege. That might be easier for me. New Zealand is gonna hunt. New Valonia, siege. New Friesland, siege. New Flanders, siege. I have the two big countries go on the hunt and the other guys do other stuff. I want a big chunk from of, of Rio de Prata. Also kind of want to force them to give up their African holdings here. Okay, I've got some troops down. I should theoretically be able to catch, uh, finish any of these armies individually. If I can. Where are these guys going? South Brazil current. Okay. Okay, they destroyed destroyed another big fleet of those colonial nations. Now well, let's try to catch these guys. Yes, very good. Terrace on fur for New Holland. Um, could just leave it. Don't really need the additional tariff value. Kind of fine here. And uh, yeah, let's go and convert Madura. This is fine. Foe and focus on war. We're still losing points. That's incredible. I mean, we're not at peace, but... Hey, we captured a heavy. But it just kept us even. It's probably not a huge thing. Right. We can't do anything here. These guys are moving... Mm, yeah, I want to wanna catch their armies. My army is the only one who, which is really big enough to engage theirs. So maybe we'll do this. These guys are almost there for getting that fort. It's all in all a bit hectic. Oh, and they engage the Dutch Caribbean over here. They have a heavy. Can we help them? Is that a thing? We could try. Let's see if we can't get... Oh, they have a three-star general. What kind of military ideas does Portugal have, actually? Offensive and defensive. They have nothing else in terms of military stuff in their national ideas. And we have 4k more troops, but that general is really good. 543. We have a 452. Right. Captured some more people. So, this is the thing. Yeah, I want to actually engage these guys. Just smushing some smaller groups of colonial ships. Thing is, I should be able to destroy them because I just have an overweight of troops. What? Oh, damn it. Didn't set these guys to autonomic uh, rebel suppression, which I really should have done. Now we have tons of annoying separatism. Nah, could be worse. Okay, we're sieging things. Still some troops down here that need smushing. But yeah, if we can get their coastal provinces, they won't really be able to hide anymore. So why do we not why do we not get these? Oh, because they're going out. Okay, we're done coring. These rebels shouldn't really make too many difficulties, but it's annoying that we got them and that I didn't get them. Okay, so that happened. Um, I'll go for autonomous rebel suppression. Sorry, yep. Yeah. Uh, we have rebels in New Zealand. 
New Zealand peasants. Well, I guess we can deal with those. This is okay. We'll come down this way. Try to get rid of those. Because it won't really help us fight this war. How's the north going? So Brazil, I mean, it is being sieged down by the Dutch Caribbean. It's occupied by me. Occupied by Netherlands, occupied by New Zealand. Only the controller can transfer the province. Really? You just decided that you were going to occupy that no, no matter what? New Zealand is being incredibly annoying there. I mean, it is still Brazil, so it is going to go to New Zealand, but I'd rather these guys actually do what I say. Yeah, these guys also have just taken the land for themselves without flipping it to me, the occupation. That is very annoying. I guess they have some own agendas. Hey, you can abolish slavery. Um, get increased innovative, reduce missionary strength, less tech cost. Yes, I mean, I've been asking for this for quite a while, so we'll, we'll abolish slavery. Let's get rid of it. It's a hideous practice. We have 7k that will get smushed down here. Bigger problem is actually Africa. I will go ahead and force march on these guys to catch them. Where's that three-star general? Did they bring him somewhere else? That's weird. Hmm. I think this fleet needs to repair for a little bit. So we'll bring them back. Getting more sailors still. With slavery now banned in the Netherlands and other countries like likely to follow suit, it seems the transatlantic slave trade will be seeing a sharp decline. Yeah, let's hope that the price of slaves drops. The Battle of Santiago. Yeah, we can catch these guys too. Very good. Okay, and all the places that were trading slaves are now trading something different. Very good. Okay, we we'll managed to destroy those 23k. I think we'll go for these guys too. It looks like Portugal doesn't really have a good military. Two, four, three, one. Well, let's hope this works out. We rode really well. Yeah, we won that battle. I like it. Kick these guys out of our lands again. There's another 33k army that we can deal. Maybe this is better, just having a 40 and a 40 army on this side. Mm, that kind of poses the need to actually send a fleet over here. Get those guys. How many can we have? How many troops? 401. So we could go for another 40k. Problem is more like the manpower is getting low. What do we have in terms of manpower recovery? This one could help. This one could help a lot. We'll go for that. Go for more manpower recovery speed. And yeah, we have with disloyal estates too. So I need to dole out more land. Uh, we can also upgrade our military tech. Artillery fire plus two. Let's go for it. That's going to help in this battle. Yeah, I'd say we're doing pretty well. Um... With 40, 40 heavies now in the east, waiting to join up with our main fleet, which I probably do. Although we could just go for a second transport fleet. Maybe that's best. We'll go ahead and enable autonomous rebel suppression on this one too. Mm, yeah, I think we'll... Are we still building ships anywhere? Yeah, we're still building ships. Do we want to wait until we're done? I mean, kind of. Let's have a look at the strengths. We have 120, uh, 110 heavies. We have 105. Portugal has 92. They haven't lost any heavies so far. I have a ton of lights, which I could actually send south because I'm not using them. Portugal only has 52. And then 54 transport ships. Still running a risk by operating with not all of our heavies. 
over here. Whenever they catch our fleet, we're gonna look proper fools. Because they can probably just smush us. I mean, I can I can retreat, but it's still not gonna be good. Hmm. How are they getting their reinforcements from up here, though? Are they really marching them all through the all the way down through the Sahara? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, I'll think about this in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.